Hi everyone! So I want to show you today how I make this baby jacket or a coat or a cardi coat, whatever you call it. It has a hood with some bare ears, some roll back sleeves and it looks like this. It has a little bit of a pattern on the bottom and on the sleeves and on the edges. So it's really easy to make. Uh, we pretty much use uh, double crochets with some single crochets and a few slip stitches and we will be making it to the size that you want. This is a three to six months uh, size and I have a bigger one here. This is for about a 12 month old baby. So we will be completely relying on uh, measurements which I have for babies for up to 12 months old. If you want to make it, uh, to make it for an older baby you will have to look for your own measurements, which uh, Google and Pinterest is full of. I don't think there is a problem to find those. And, uh, or obviously, if you have a baby or a child with you, you can just measure it. It's even better. So this is it. I think it looks really cute. And it's really, really easy to make. So um, I think we can get started on it now. We're gonna start with what we need. So obviously we need some yarn. I'm going to use double knit or DK yarn, which is 100% acrylic and it recommends me a four millimeter or an F size hook that I have. So my main color will be mint and I will have some pink for the ears. And uh, whatever yarn you're using, you don't have to do this, to use this yarn exactly, because we will be uh, doing uh, it with measurements, so it doesn't matter, whatever you like, uh, just make sure that your uh, hook fits the yarn well. And then we are going to need some, uh, sciz uh, sorry, some buttons, scissors, a measuring tape, is very important because this is, uh, this is what is going to get us through this project. So my measuring tape has centimeters on one side and inches on the other side, whatever you use. I use my measurements in centimeters. This is what I'm used to. But uh, if you like inches and you use inches all the time, you can find um, you can find the measurements in inches on Pinterest, Google. Just it's the internet is full of it. So. Um, Whatever, uh, sorry, uh, so the measurements that we are going to need. So I have the sizes from 0 to 3 months, 3 to 6 months, 6 to 9, and 9 to 12. So the measurements that we are going to need is the head measurement, the chest measurement for the finished cardigan, the yoke height, sleeve length, upper arm, and wrist. These two are not as important. It's just uh, I keep those uh, just to check that uh, my sleeve is not too small. And then the hood height. So these um, mm, these are approximate measurements that I use all the time, and they seem to be um, just fine. I always get a good size, I think. So if you want to use my measurements and you normally use inches and you're not completely sure about the centimeters, if you look on your tape, uh, measuring tape, you, you you might have it like me, like um, centimeters and inches on one side. Then you can look up whatever, uh, let's say 15 centimeters. I find my 15 centimeters. I turn it over and it is just under six inches. You can do it this way or you can find your own measurements, which uh, as well, you can find it in bigger sizes. I have made this jacket much bigger. I made it, I think the biggest one I did it was for six year old and it worked out just fine and I completely relied on my measurements. So this is what we need and um, I think we can get started now. Okay, so we are going to start with the starting chain which will be individual for everybody. It will depend on the size that you're making and the hook size and the yarn that you are using. So uh, don't worry about that. I have it all um, counted out for you and you will see it in just a second. But first of all, we need to do that starting chain so we know um, which yoke to choose, which will be in one second. So I will be making a size six to nine months 
uh, for a baby six to nine months old. So whichever size that you are making, just look up the head measurement. So it's 30, about 38 centimeters for zero to three, 40.5. Uh, 43 centimeters and about 45.5 if you're making it bigger you can always measure the child's head and do exactly the same as what I'm going to do now so once you decide on the size that you're making I will be making six to nine months old babe for a baby six to nine months old and the head measurement is 43 centimeters for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my starting chain about an inch and or an inch and a half which, which would be about three four centimeters shorter than the actual head measurement so i will be making my starting chain about 39 40 centimeters long so if you would be making this size you would be uh, making your starting chain about 34 35 centimeters uh, this one would be about 36 um, centimeters long and um, this one would be about 42 uh, centimeters long. So we're gonna make a slip knot. And we are going to start chaining. And this is where we are going to need our measuring tape already. So I know that my starting chain should be about, um, what did they say, 39, 40 centimeters long. I have my measuring tape. And I'm just going to start chaining and I will be counting and I need it to be an even number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will keep going until my starting chain, I will be measuring it like this, will be about 40 centimeters long. So I have made my starting chain and if I measure, I put my first chain at the very, very beginning and I just pull it out just, just slightly, just to stretch it out a little bit. And I have about 39, 40 centimeters and it is 64 chains. I'm gonna just get a little piece of paper and I'm just gonna write that down. It might be a little bit easier, 64 chains now what i'm going to do is i have drawn uh the yolks so this is it so whatever number you have now you're gonna have to find which yoke will be for you so i have 64 chains so this one is for me you look for the closest number that you got uh, because I have these yolks in every uh, it is a four chain difference in between each of them so let's say if I would have got um, 66 chains which 64 and 68 I would have to decide if I want to go um, a little bit higher or a little bit lower which will not make a very big difference so I have this one uh, just have a good look and I'm going to write down everything about this yoke. So as you can see, this is, this is my one. It has one chain for every corner. I wrote it on the inside. Then it has nine chains for the front, 12 chains for the sleeve or the shoulder part. It has 18 for the back part of the yoke. It has 12 for the other sleeve and 9 for the front and like I said 4 for the corners. So as you can see all of these uh, have the same. Uh, the It only depends on the, on the size that you are going to get which depends on your uh, hook size and uh, yarn and everything. So find the closest one with the amount of chains like in the pink. You see the numbers in pink is the amount of chains uh, needed and then if you don't have an exact number here you just add a couple uh, two uh, chains or you take two chains back so I have this one uh, try to write down I hope you can see this well so I'm just gonna write down that my just gonna do a real quick drawing of this and I have nine for the front I have 12 
for the side, 18 for the back, 12 and 9. And then one chain for each corner. And this is me. This is my yoke. This is what I'm going to use to make, to start my uh, jacket or a cardigan, whatever you call. So I would suggest you do exactly the same and then we can get started on it. Okay, so once we know what we are, uh, what we are making, which of these yokes we are making, uh, so my one is this, we are going to start. And we start from this side. We will be going this way around. So I have nine double crochets for the front. So what we're going to do now, whatever number you have, we're going to add two more chains. So one and two, then we're going to find our chain number four. So one, two, three, and four, and we will make a double crochet into the fourth chain. So like that, we count the three chains in the front as one double crochet. So I have one and two and I need nine. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this part is done. I have my corner after that. We will do into the next chain, we do a double crochet two chains, one, two, and a double crochet into the same uh, chain that we made uh, the first double crochet in. So it's like a V stitch. Then I have my uh, side or the shoulder part. I have 12 double crochets for that. So one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So the shoulder part is finished now. I have a corner before the back. So we do exactly the same as we did in the other corner. Into the next chain, we do a double crochet, two chains, and a double crochet into the same chain that we did the previous uh, stitch. So it's like a V stitch. Then I have my back. I have 18 for my back. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, and I will keep going and I will see when I have my 18 done. Done with my back part, I have a corner again. Into the next chain, we do a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet into the same stitch then it is my sleeve part or the shoulder part which is 12 double crochets so one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I have my last corner, which is a double crochet, two chains, and a double crochet into the same stitch, and I should have nine left 
for the front part. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more into my last chain, nine. So we don't need this anymore once we're done. And this is how our row one should look like, about something like this. And we will just keep going now. We will keep building um, our yoke. So what we are gonna do for the next rows until we have the whole yoke done is we are going to chain one in the beginning always. So we're gonna turn around and make one double crochet into each stitch until we get to the corner. So chain one and then we go back into the same stitch under the chain one. And we don't really need to count it anymore. Like this until we get to the corner. And once we're at the corner, it's exactly the same. Into the inside of this V, we put a double crochet, two chains, and a double crochet in, in there as well. So this is how our corners are going to look like all the time. And then we're just gonna keep going, we find the next stitch, and just do double crochets until we are going to get to the to the next corner My last stitch before the corner and then again into the hole, a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. And then once again, find the next stitch and just do one double crochet all the way around until we're gonna get to the very end. Now I will do this off camera and I will show you where our last stitch should go in the row two because it's gonna be a little bit different because we have the chain of three here. Um, so I will do this and I will meet you here and I will show you where the last stitch goes. I am at my last stitch, which is a chain free here that we didn't left in the very beginning. This is the very, very first stitch. I'm going to yarn over and we're going to do a double crochet into the very top chain here. Like this. So it looks nice and straight. Now we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn around and do exactly the same uh, for as many rows as we need. Just double crochets once you get to the corner. It's a double crochet, two chains and a uh, double crochet. We just need uh, to build the height uh, and the length for our yoke. So it looks a bit like this now. <clears throat> and we just keep going back and forward until our yoke gets bigger and once i make my yoke i will show you what we're looking for to know um when we have enough now i just want to make sure that you uh that you can see this is the very last stitch for us now this is this is left from what we do the chain one in the beginning so this is our last stitch just to make sure that you know that and we're gonna keep going and our edges should be nice and straight and I will see you uh, in a bit once I'm finished with this yoke 
Okay, so my yolk is done or almost done. And how do we know that? We are going to measure it. So if you put it together nicely, corner to corner, like that. And we take out our measurements and we look for the yolk height. So as I'm making a six to nine month uh, size, it is about 11.5 centimeters. It can be a little bit bigger, but not smaller. Otherwise, it will be very close to the armpit, the armhole, and it will not be comfortable for the baby. So uh, whatever, whichever size you are making, just look up the yolk height. So I'm looking for 11.5 centimeters. Take my measuring tape and I measure. Oops, wrong side. So you can either put it like this, corner to corner, and it's about 11 centimeters, or you can put it straight up, straight up from the corner, and it works out exactly the same, 11 centimeters, which is a little bit short, but it's okay, because the next row that we're going to do is going to add the length of a double crochet to the yoke height. So I'm actually going to end up with about 12 centimeters, which is just fine for me. So remember, like this or like this, and it should be just a tiny little bit smaller than what you are looking for. And then the next thing we're going to have a look at is our chest measurement. Uh, it's just so we know that if we need to add any chains in the next uh, row under the armholes. So I am looking at the chest measurement, which is about 50 centimeters uh, all the way around the cardigan. And I'm going to find my back. As it is only a half of a cardigan, I will be looking for about... 25 centimeters and I put it from one hole to another one and I am at 24 and I need 25 for it um, for one I want to make so I am about one centimeter short so what I'm gonna do as it is very little one centimeter is about uh, two stitches for me you see, even uh, two stitches are a bit, even a bit more. I am going to put only one chain when I will be connecting the cardigan, uh, the armholes. I am only going to put one chain here and one chain on the other side, just because I'm, I'm a tiny little bit short. Now, um, if you are more, if you need more, you can put two, three, four chains under here, which will add to your um, cardigan chest measurement. So I'm only going to put one as I'm just a little bit short and by the way have in mind that we are going to have <clears throat> a big um, uh, big edge around in the front so that will give us a bit more space as well. So once we're happy with everything we just chain one which I already did turn around and <clears throat> I'm just gonna do double crochets all the way until we get to the first corner So this is my last stitch before the corner. I put a double crochet, just one of them, in here. I do my chain one. Now remember, if you need more chains, you should do more. But I'm only one centimeter short, so I'm only going to do one chain. I find my other corner. 
make sure it's not twisted like that I yarn over and I just make a double crochet in there like that and I'm gonna keep going now with one double crochet into each stitch until I get to the other corner and I'm going to do exactly the same I am at my next corner I'm gonna do exactly the same one double crochet into the hole I make one chain and I am going to do a double crochet into the next corner straight away and this is you see this is the sleep part and I'm just gonna do the double crochets until I get to the end and I'm gonna chain one turn around and from this time on we will only keep doing rows forward and back no increases no decreases we just need to make sure that we actually have uh, the length that we are looking for for the chest measurement just in case because it's um, always a good idea to measure a couple of times throughout the uh, the whole process just to make sure that we we have the size that we are looking for like this I'm just gonna lay it flat and I'm gonna measure the whole thing if I have my 50 centimeters so I'm gonna oops sorry So as you see, it is exactly 50, plus I have in mind that I'm going to have uh, an edge in the front which will add a tiny little bit more. If you look, just like that. It's a bit hard to show. But it's just about 50 centimeters. So I will be able to keep going. And now you see that this row has ad added us a little bit more length for the yoke which I'm now which is now perfect so we keep going back and forward exactly the same chain one turn around until we get almost all length of our cardigan now about the length I normally look up the sleeve length which is about 17.5 centimeters for me and I make the whole cardigan a tiny little bit shorter so as my sleeve length is about 17.5 centimeters I will make my cardigan 16 centimeters long and that is counting from my armhole so I will do another 16 centimeters but we are going to put in uh, two rows of uh, cross stitch and two rows of single crochets maybe three rows of single crochets so we have to have in mind that we have to leave a tiny little bit of space about three rows worth of space in the bottom just to do that uh, those four or five rows uh, so I will do about um, 13 centimeters and then I will leave the rest free for the cross stitch and the single crochets so I'm gonna do this now and I will come back and uh, we will see what to do next okay so I have finished almost the whole length remember we still have some cross stitches to do and I was looking for about 13 centimeters and I measure from the bottom of that armhole just laid out nicely and I have about 13 centimeters as I want it to so now we can start on the cross stitch it doesn't matter which side you're on what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a chain one which I already done turn around and our first we do a double crochet into the same uh, into the same space as a chain one 
And now we're gonna start crossing the stitches, which will make our cross stitch. So we yarn over, we skip one, we put a double crochet into the next one. Like that. See? Now we're gonna yarn over, go back into that stitch that we have missed. We're gonna go in through in through the middle of the two stitches there. We're gonna catch that stitch that we have left. We're gonna yarn over, pull out. We have three loops. Yarn over, yarn uh, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And we have a cross. Then we're gonna yarn over. We are gonna skip one and double crochet into the next one. Yarn over, go back into that hole that we have missed, find that stitch, put your hook in, on the other side pull the yarn through, two loops and two loops. Yarn over, skip one, and the double crochet, yarn over into the middle, find that stitch, and make a double crochet. Skip one, and we will keep doing that for the whole, um, for for the whole of this row. It will get easier if you have never made cross stitches before. You just need to get the feel of it, and it makes a real nice. Uh, row just like that and I keep going until we get to the very very end I am at the end of this row and I have three stitches left so one two and three you might have only two left it will uh, depend if you had even or an odd number of the stitches in total it doesn't matter just uh, if you have two left, just make the first double crochet into the last, just cross it, it, uh, it will make no big difference. But I'm gonna do it here, because I have three, if you have two, just do it into the last one, like this, and then a double crochet. If you had two stitches left, you should do the double crochet into the same stitch as the first of the uh, stitches that you made for the cross. It won't make a big difference. So, and this is how this row looks like. So, from the other side and from this side. Now, the next row is a single crochet row. We're going to chain one and turn around. Okay. And now we're going to just single crochet all the way to the other side. So, single crochet into the very first stitch and just one into each of the stitches all the way across. Just like that. And just keep going. Okay, so at the end of the single crochet row, I'm just gonna do a last, my last single crochet here. I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna do another row of cross stitches. I'm gonna yarn over, make a double crochet into the same stitch as my chain one, and I'm gonna start, oops, crossing the stitches again, just like we did before. <clears throat> Excuse me, like that. exactly like we did before and we're gonna have a single crochet row just like the one before and I'm gonna meet you after the so I'm gonna make a cross stitch and then a single crochet row and I'm gonna meet you after and I will see if I need another row of single crochets if I want to have two rows at the very very bottom okay so I made my two rows of 
cross stitch and two rows of single crochet. Now, I don't think I need another row of single crochets. If you feel like you do, uh, you can just do that. Uh, it will keep the corners down if any of your corners are kind of a rolling up a little bit. But my corners are fine and I have the length that I was looking for. So about 16 centimeters, just maybe 16 and a half. So I don't feel like I need to put another row. And what I can do now is I am going to chain one, which I already did. I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm just going to pull it out. Like that. So this is about how it looks like. So I think that that's a nice little touch. Okay, next thing. We are going to start on the hood. Now, uh, we can look up our hood height. Now remember, th these are approximate ones. This, I couldn't really find a chart that would say the hood height should be that much or that much. Um, I had to go look in everywhere. Uh, so I kind of found these. I'm not sure how accu accurate they are, but they do seem to be fine. Uh, if you have a child with you, I would say just measure from one sh relaxed shoulder all, all the way around the head to the other shoulder and see how many centimeters or inches you have and then divide it into two and you will have the height of the hood and maybe add another, uh, I don't know, an inch or two centimeters or something just for some to have some extra space in, in the hood. But I'm going to use my ones because I have nobody to measure. So I have about 21.5 centimeters into into the height. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to go all the way up until it measures 21, 21.5 centimeters. Okay, so to start on the hood, what we're going to do, I'm going to make a slip knot. And I'm going to start on that side. You see, I still have my um, yarn. This is where I started. I'm going to start on the other side. So I'm just going to find that very first stitch. It's actually um, chain free that I had. I'm going to insert my hook. Catch my yarn. Oops. And pull it out. And I'm going to chain two. Now for the hood we will be chaining two in the beginning. Uh, exactly the same as we did here, but we did chain one and then uh, double crochet into the same stitch. We're on the hood, we're gonna do chain two and uh, double crochet into the same stitch. It's just so uh, that our hood would, uh, would not be, would have a bit more elasticity. Um, I hope you can understand what I mean. So, I did my chain two and now I'm just gonna do a double crochet into each stitch all the way to the other side. I'm not even gonna count that. And when I get to my corners, which will be just in a second, oops. So yes, by the way, I am using the top of the chains that I, uh, that I used. So the, there's no stitches here. So this is what's left from the chains that I'm uh, making this row in. So as you can see, this is the stitch where my corners are. So I'm going to get to that. Now, I want the hood to be quite big and, um, I don't know, oversized. So I'm going to put two double crochets into each corner. If you feel that your uh, top of this cardigan is big enough and you don't need to to put those uh, that extra stitch in there, uh, just don't. It won't make a huge difference, but I don't know, I may, I just do it. So one double crochet into each stitch. When I get to the next corner, I'm going to put two double crochets into that. Might be a bit hard to find those chains from the previous, from the very first row. 
they are there. And I'm almost at the next corner. And I'm going to do exactly the same. Like I said, if you don't feel that, that you need them, uh, the extra stitch in there, just don't. So, uh, and I'm going to keep going now until I get to the very, very end of it, which is right here. Okay, so row one of the hood is done, and I'm going to chain two, one and two, and I'm going to turn around, and I am going to do a double crochet into the same stitch. And I'm going to keep going. And now just remember, if you look back, you see, this is your last stitch here. This is the chain two. And over that, this is your last stitch. So this this is where our last st stitch is gonna go. Uh, if it's easier for you, just count a couple of rows, and I'm sure you'll be able to figure out uh, when uh, where the last stitch is. But it's, I don't think it's that hard to find. So and now all we're gonna do is crochet back and forward until it measures what we are looking for. So we will measure the hood from this row that we have made here. So I have just about one and a half centimeters and I'm gonna crochet until it is about that long. It always looks very very long the hood but that's the way it is. So I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna meet you here at the top and we will see uh, what we're gonna do next okay so after we finish the hood so I have made let's see I was going to make I made it about 22 centimeters I just measured from the row that I started the hood on about 22 centimeters um, which is a little bit tiny little bit bigger than uh, I was going for. I was going to make 21, 21 and a half, but I will rather make it a little bit bigger than uh, too small. So after that, what we're going to do, we're going to chain one after the last stitch and we're going to cut the yarn, going to leave a long tail so we could sew the hood together. And we're just going to pull the hook out like that. And we're ready to sew, almost ready. We have to pick which side of the cardigan. Like, you want this to be on the inside or if you have a favorite side. So I picked this one. Uh, I don't know why. I just thought it looked a little bit nicer. Maybe. I'm not sure. It doesn't really... Uh, it, there's not a big difference in them. So, anyway. Once you pick which side you want to be... Uh, the, on the outside, the one that you want to see. You lay it down flat so you can see the armholes are on the top. The hood is down. I'm gonna take the tail and the needle and we are going to sew it together. So if you take, so remember, your sleeves are up, up looking at you. Take both corners and pull toward you and this is how we're gonna sew it so I'm gonna find the first stitch and we're just gonna do a whip stitch I believe that's what it's called just not too tight but not too loose as well try not to skip any of the stitches so you don't have a hole on the top through all loops like that and that way we keep going until we get to the very very end so once we get to the very end of it we are going to make a, a little knot I just go back find that loop 
I'm gonna put the needle in through it and just pull tight on it. And then I'm gonna just thread that um, yarn back, oh sorry, front and back just so it does not come out for me like that. I'm gonna go backwards again. Now, and I cut the yarn. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the hood out the right way. And this is about how it should look like at the moment. It's gonna be a roll back hood like that. See, I already have one sleeve made, so this is it, and we can start on our uh, edging for the front. So, like that. So, we're going to start the edge on the side under your left hand in the bottom corner. So, grab some yarn, make a slip knot. Find that corner and the very, very, very last stitch or the very, very corner. Connect your yarn. Make a chain and make a single crochet back into the same stitch. So, single crochet. And this row will only be single crochets all the way around to the uh, to the very bottom of the other side. So try to space them out evenly. I'm going to make, so this is a double crochet here. I'm going to make two single crochets into it. One at the bottom and one on the kind of a upper side of that. You kind of need to watch out for the... So, so you would not be putting them uh, too close or too far away. So it's not pulling on the cardigan, or it's not. So, uh, or if you put too many, it will start um, uh, doing serpentines, or you will see. So I'm gonna put two. Then one. And then. It's uh, because we don't have stitches here, it's kind of a have to go on your gut feeling uh, where to put them. Just try to space them out nicely. So, like that. It's my yarn tail. And just like that, we're going to go all the way around our jacket so I'm gonna have to keep going so if you put it like this you're gonna we start it here you can always look if you put it down and uh, the corners are not going up I think you're doing well because if, if the corner is starting to pull on itself like this uh, then it's probably you're doing uh, your spaces are a bit too big uh, in between every single crochet but anyway now we're gonna go all the way up I'm gonna crochet over the hood or over the edge of the hood and go <clears throat> all the way down to this corner and I'm going to meet you here and we're gonna do the second row um, of the edging okay so I'm at the bottom of the other side I'm just gonna make my last single crochet I'm gonna chain one and now, I probably forgot to say that we will probably need, well, we would, we do need uh, a few stitch markers. Um, I will need five of them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to roll back the hood a little bit. And we're going to mark about the place where we want the first of our 
um, buttons to be. So I probably want my first button to be. So I look where the hood comes together. So I want my first button to be about right here. And I'm gonna go two stitches up from where I want my button to be. So one and two. And I'm gonna mark that because that's where my cross stitch is going to end. I will understand everything in a moment. So now I'm gonna look it up on the other side. So this is a stitch on that side and I go two stitches up. So because we're going to do double crochets up all the way up to this marker and then we're gonna do a bit more of a cross stitch all the way around. We're gonna come back to this side to this stitch marker. We're gonna start doing uh, double crochets again and then the button holes. So I have one button. I want to have one on the bottom, probably about here. And I'm just gonna find another place where I want my third button to be. So about here. I'm just gonna uh, Turn the camera off now and I'm going to count if I have the same distance stitch wise in between my markers where my button holes are going to be. Okay, so I fixed up the distance in between my button holes. It's about, uh, I think, nine stitches in between them. Uh, obviously, if you want more uh, to put in more button holes, you can. I only want three. So after this, we can get started on the uh, second row of edging. So we made chain one, we're going to turn around. And we're going to do double crochets until we get to that, uh, to the, our first stitch mark. So just normal double crochets as we did most of the cardigan, just like that, until we get to the first stitch marker. Okay, so I am at my stitch marker. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to do a double crochet into that stitch where the stitch marker was. And now I'm going to start doing cross stitches. So I'm going to start crossing those double crochets, just like we did on the bottom, just to give it a bit more um well it look it will look a bit more interesting so i have a knot in my yarn so just like that crossing the stitches as we did before we we'll go all the way around until we get to our next stitch marker. Just like that. Okay, I'm just just about at my stitch marker and I have uh, two stitches left before that. You might have one, it will all depend how many, if you had an even number or an odd number for the hood. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can just move the stitch marker up or down it won't uh, you won't be able to see it but uh, I seem to uh, get that perfectly so I'm just gonna do my last cross stitch I'm gonna take my stitch marker out that stitch marker marked that I'm gonna start doing my double crochets I'm done with my cross stitch and I get my stitch marker now which marks my buttonhole so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it out I'm going to do a chain one and I'm going to skip that uh, stitch that has been marked and this is going to be my buttonhole. Now I'm going to do a double crochets all the way to the to my next buttonhole or the stitch marker. Exactly the same. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. I'm going to do a chain one. I'm going to skip that stitch. 
and I'm gonna do double crochets to the next stitch marker. Oops. Like that, it's my stitch marker, take it out, chain one, skip one stitch, and I'm going to do double crochets to the very end. Now the last row of our edge is chain one, turn around, and we're just going to do single crochets all the way uh, around to the other side. Just normal single crochets into every stitch, like that. Once you get to the uh, chain that we made for the buttonhole, just do a single crochet into that hole and then just keep going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go all the way around the edge to the, to the bottom of this side and I'm gonna then decide if I want to uh, to stop there, chain one and cut my yarn, or if I want to put another row of single crochets all the way around just to make uh, these parts a little bit nicer. I probably will, but I'm gonna meet you here and then I will show you what I'm gonna do. I haven't decided that yet. Okay, so I'm, I am at the very bottom of my other side on the single crochet row and I'm gonna do my last single crochet and now if you are not going to do uh, another row all the way around the bottom if you don't want to make it a, look a bit cleaner because it's not too bad but I think um, I think I will I just want to even this out but it's not necessary I can just chain one if you're finished you can chain one uh, cut your yarn leave a little bit of tail and you're going to have to sew that in or if you want to do the another row on the bottom then what you do after the last stitch you chain one just as I did and I'm going to put another single crochet into the same stitch and we're just going to start going on the bottom you see that corner looks a bit a bit nicer now so I'm going to do this all the way on the bottom until I get to the other side. When I finish, I'm going to chain one, cut my yarn, and I'm gonna see you after this, and we can start on our sleeves. So I don't think that's difficult, so I'm not gonna show how I end and everything. So I'm gonna see you after this. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So we have sleeves left and the ears if you want of course you don't have to do the ears if you don't want to so the sleeves are probably one of the harder parts uh, to explain they're not hard to make once you understand what you're doing so what I did um, I'm gonna go all the way around and then I'm gonna keep turning uh, my rows I'm not gonna go all one way because uh, then it will be very noticeable that uh, all the stitches are only good side up or uh, the wrong side up um, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna keep changing directions. So I, so I keep that uh, same look all the way and what I do so I'm gonna put uh, one double crochet into each stitch in the first row and then I'm gonna do uh, a decrease one stitch decrease in the second row then one double crochet in every stitch then one decrease all uh, I'm gonna crochet all stitches decrease by one and so I'm gonna do a decrease in every second row now I would say you should write down what you do with the sleeves just in case uh, so you don't get one sleeve bigger than the other one so this is what I always do I'm just as I'm making my first sleeve I'm just gonna write down so I had 33 stitches in the first row and I did a one stitch decrease so I had two at the end of row two 
So then I make 12 rows. At the end of 12 row, uh, row 12, I have 27 stitches. And then there's four rows for the roll back sleeve. So this is the one, two, three, and four rows for the rolling it back if you want. So I would say uh, do that. And what else, what else, what else was I going to say? I forgot. Um, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. So uh, this is the two measurements. The, like I said, they are not that important. The only thing is that... Oh, let me find my measuring tape. So as you can see, so upper arm of a baby of around that age is about 16 and a half centimeters for me. So I just find my measuring tape. I find my 16 and a half. I put it in half like this and I'm gonna see. So just to make sure that my, uh, that my hand will fit and it will have a bit of space uh, for, you know, just to have a bit more space. And then I look up my wrist, which I have about 11 centimeters. Find my measuring tape, find my 11 centimeters, put it in half, and this is the wrist, that, that this is where it's gonna be, just like that, you see? I just want to make sure that it fits. And then I just control, uh, you know, once in a while I just measure it and see if it's not getting, you know, uh, too small, if my hand is going to fit in there, so it would, it would have to be somewhere in between uh, 16 and a half to 11 centimeters. So we're gonna do a bit of decreasing, but really, really slowly as it is a jacket. We don't really want it too tight. So uh, then we need the sleeve length. So I'm gonna do about 17 and a half centimeters uh, for the length. And the last four rows are just extra. So I do my full length and then extra four rows to roll it back so uh, you always uh, you can always roll it back more or less so that's it okay we are going to find our sleeve <clears throat> I'm gonna put put down my notes so I can see and the first thing that we need to figure out is which way <clears throat> sorry we have to start my sleeve as we have the rows with the good side of the double crochets up which is a bit more straight like this this is the good good side up and you can see these ones are a bit more wavy this is the wrong side up so I have good side up I'm gonna start with I'm gonna connect my yarn here and I'm gonna start crocheting from the inside like that way to the right hand side if your last row is wiggly wiggly wavy you're gonna have to connect your yarn and start crochet from the left side up uh, I hope you can understand that's that way we're gonna uh, keep the keep the same kind of a picture going all the way through the cardigan so row first or the first row I find my chain one that I did on the bottom. Now, if you did more chains, you're going to have to find the one that is mostly in the middle. Uh, I only have one in the in, in between my double crochet, so I'm just going to connect there. Like this. I'm going to chain two. One and two. And like I said, I'm going to start going to the right side. So like this, and I'm going to start doing double crochets and I need to count. So I had 33 double crochets in the other sleeve. So I count the chain two as one. I'm going to put a double crochet. So this is a double crochet from the last row. I'm going to put one double crochet into the bottom of it. So two. Now remember, if you have more chains under the armhole, you need to crochet into the chains before that. You don't skip the chains, you just crochet into them. So, But I don't have any, so I start on the double crochets on the side straight away. So one, two for me. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I'm gonna keep going, uh, and I'm gonna meet you here, and we'll see if I'm gonna get my stitches that I had on the other sleeve. So I'm on 30 stitches now, so 30, 30, 1, I have my double crochet on the other side there that we connected it with, so, so I had 31, 32, and my last one is 33. So I did get the same amount as I had in the other sleeve. So what I'm going to do now, so this is our chain one, one, uh, sorry, chain two, one, two chains, and we're going to connect into this stitch right above it, not into the chain itself, but the whole stitch, like that. And we're going to connect it exactly the same in every row, like that. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to turn around. Now, whichever way you're going, so uh, this is my decrease row. So we have to understand the stitches to do the decreasing in this. So if you see my chain two, and then I have a hole in this side, and I kind of have a hole in this side. So when I will be decreasing, I will skip those both. I will not crochet into any of them. I'm just going to... Uh, turn around and I'm going to go straight into that stitch and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish here. I'm going to leave those two empty. Now when I'm not going to decrease, I'm going to crochet straight under the chain two in that side and I'm going to leave the other side empty. That way uh, we will know to how to decrease and not. We're just going to skip a stitch. Pretty much, and it's uh, and this is the place where uh, you won't be able to see that there's anything skipped. So chain two, yarn over. So I'm gonna do decreasing. So I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna go into the next one, and I should have 32 stitches at the end of this row. Now I'm gonna finish this row, and I'm gonna see you back here. Okay, so I'm. Two stitches away from finishing my second row just wanted to make sure that you uh, understand so as you can see these are the two stitches that I need to crochet the next stitch is where our chain two comes out so we are going to leave that one so I'm just gonna do two double crochets one and two if it's easier for you obviously you can um, Count the stitches in every row, and then you'll know uh, if, if you have the same number or anything. So we're going to skip that. If we crochet into this one, uh, we are going to, well, we wouldn't increase it on this, but I always leave that unless I am increasing. I hope I didn't mix, get you all mixed up now. We're going to leave that for the sleeves. And then we find one, two. This is the two chains. You can see so one chain two chain and the stitch right above above them put my hook in pull out make a slip knot slip stitch sorry chain two and I'm gonna turn around now this is the row that I don't I'm not gonna do decreasing so like I said I yarn over and I go straight back here next to the chain two and I'm going to do one double crochet into each stitch like that. And I'm going to see you at the end of this row. And I'm going to show you one more time how to decrease just in case it was hard for you to see before. 
so I'm at the end of my row three and as you can see I have crocheted my last stitch and this is where my chain two comes out of you can see the uh, the thread there or the yarn so I'm going to I'm not going to do anything in that and I'm just gonna find one two chains that I did in the beginning and the stitch above and I'm just gonna do a slip knot I'm gonna chain two and this is my decrease row so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to skip this and I'm gonna go straight into the next stitch and this is what I'm going to do for the whole uh, sleeve until I get the full length of it I'm gonna just like I said I'm gonna decrease every second row you can do the same or you can do more decreases you you don't have to do decreases if you don't want to it's all the all up to you but I would say write that down just to make sure because we don't always have time to sit down and do both sleeves at the same time or one after the other so it's very easy to forget uh, and then the sleeves come out completely different so I'm gonna do 12 rows which is my length what I need for the sleeve and I'm gonna see you here and I'm going to do the um, I don't know if I'm gonna show all four rows but I'm I'm just gonna stop here and I will show you where to measure from for the sleeve length so see you soon okay so I finished with the main part of my sleeve and I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna measure from the row that I started it on. As you can see, this is the last row of the yoke that has a hole. So I'm just gonna measure it from the next row. This is about 17 and a half centimeters, exactly what I was looking for. So you look for your measurement um, and make the full length what you need. And then I'm just going to do another four rows. You can do more or less, or you don't have to do any at all if you like um, this kind of sleeve. So I have uh, two more rows of double crochets, then a row of cross stitch and a row of single crochets. So uh, whatever you do, uh, whatever you want to do, just do your next few rows and double crochets and I'm just gonna do two more like I said and I'm gonna come back and I uh, will show you real quick uh, what I'm gonna do with the cross stitch row okay so I did my two extra rows and I'm going to start my cross stitch now I forgot to say no more decreasing after we start making the roll back uh, like the very end of it so no more decreasing because it will be a bit um, it won't be roll uh, it will not roll back very well if you will. So what I'm gonna do now, so this is my cross stitch row. I'm gonna do two chains and I'm gonna start crossing my stitches. So just like we did before, we're only going to do it in the circle. Like that. <clears throat> Exactly the same. All the way. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. All the way around. Okay, so I don't think it's very hard because we did that before, so I'm going to meet you right here. I am on my last cross stitch. Right here, look, I have two stitches left, as always, somehow I get a good number. So if you don't, just uh, use this side, it won't make a difference. But I have two stitches left, I'm going to do my last cross stitch. I'm going to connect on the very top with a slip stitch, chain one, and I'm just going to do single crochets all the way around one into each stitch and this is the very last row of our sleeve you can obviously you can do more if you like you can do double crochets here in the end you can uh, actually do two rows of the cross stitches like we did on the bottom of the cardigan 
whatever you feel like. Just like that, one into every stitch. And I'm gonna get back here and we will be connecting and sewing in the tail. At the end of this row, I'm just gonna make my last single crochet. I'm gonna slip stitch, chain one, cut my yarn. If I can find my scissors somewhere. Hmm. Found them. So I'm gonna leave a bit of a longer tail, a tiny little bit. I'm just gonna cut my yarn. I'm gonna pull out my hook and I'm just gonna quickly show you how I hide my ends. So what I do is do that. I go straight back into that stitch like that. Pull it out tight. And then I go in between the stitches of the last row or uh, any available rows that are closest to to your needle. And it's gonna go forward and back and that's it. Cut the end and we can roll back the sleeve now. So about like that. And let's see what we have here. We have two sleeves like that. So the only thing we have left is the ears. You don't have to put them on if you don't want them. Uh, but I, I will and I will show you how I do them. Uh, I'm going to hide my the last of my tails after the ears and I'm gonna put in the buttons but so the ears so I'm gonna use two colors it's gonna look a bit like that so I have a bright pink in the middle and it's four rows of the half double crochets so I'm gonna find my pink yarn here and I'm gonna start with a magic circle now if it's hard for you to start in a, with a magic circle um, I would say do three chains, just leave the very first chain really loose and just crochet into that. But um, I'll show you. So what I do is I just wrap it around, see, hold my tail and I just wrap it around my fingers like this. And what I do is I put my hook under and I catch that yarn that is behind. I pull it out. Oops. Like that. And I just hold it down like this. And I chain two. So one and two. And I'm gonna make ten half double crochets into that circle. So yarn over, put in, catch the yarn, and pull th all through, uh, through all three loops. Sorry. So that's one, I don't count the chain, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Now either you made three chains in the beginning or the magic circle, just pull the tail tight like that and I'm gonna find that very first stitch right here and I'm gonna join with a slip stitch like that. Row two starts with two chains so one and two and do half double crochet into the stitch just before the chain. So we do one half double crochet here. Then we're gonna do two half double crochets into each stitch. Now if you want the ear a little bit bigger than mine, you can uh, do one of the rows in double crochets. It won't make a big difference. Uh, it will make it. Uh, it will make the year to be bigger. 
um, if you want whichever row, not the last one though, sorry, the, uh, any of the free rows, uh, any of the first free rows, you can make it in double crochets. So, coming to the end here, I do the last stitch, and now what I have left, this is the stitch that we did not crochet in when we were making the sleeves. I was before the chain. Now because we are increasing and this is a circle, I'm gonna make one half double crochet there. Like that. And I'm gonna join the slip stitch into the very, very top stitch. You should have 20 half double crochets and the chain two there as well. I'm gonna cut the yarn. I'm gonna do two more rows of green. So like this. We will do some increasing in this row as well. So what we're gonna do is just connect anywhere. Just do, gonna do this here. Catch my yarn, pull out. Gonna do two chains, one and two. One half double crochet into the next one. Then I'm gonna do two half double crochets into the next one. So one, and two. I'm gonna do one half double crochet into the next stitch and then two into the next one. I'm gonna do one into the next stitch and then two into the next one. So we keep doing that. We do one and then we do two half double crochets. One and two. So once we get to the our slip stitch or our knot, we are gonna do uh, one. Then when we're gonna crochet into the other side of the knot as well, I'm gonna do two there. And then I'm keep, I'm gonna just keep going, doing the same all the way around the ear. So I had one, and I'm gonna do two. Don't worry if you make a little mistake or you don't you, you had extra stitches or you you don't have as many as I do or you messed up somewhere you will not be able to see it because it is a very small circle and once you're going to sew those ears up you won't be able to see anything so I'm just going to keep going so we have two I have, sorry, one, and I'm gonna finish with two half double crochets. I'm gonna slip stitch, so this is the chain two. I'm gonna slip stitch straight into the first stitch above the chain two. That, I'm gonna chain two again, and I'm just gonna do one half double crochet now into every stitch all the way around. So I'm not increasing anymore, which will give me that look as kind of a uh, kind of a dish or don't know how to call that. The sides will be going up. That is because we're not going to increase in the very last row. So all the way around, one half double crochet into every stitch. Okay, so at the end of the last row, I have one more stitch left. I'm gonna do a half double crochet. I'm not gonna crochet into the stitch before the chain two. Well, it's not really a stitch, it's kind of a slip stitch from the last row. I'm gonna leave that because we're not increasing anymore. Now I'm just gonna slip stitch into the very top stitch. I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna cut my yarn and I'm going to leave a bit longer tail because this is the same um, uh, I'm going to sew it onto with the same using the same uh, tail so I'm just gonna pull it out now what we're gonna have to do is gonna finish the the back of the ear here so I crocheted over these two um, tails so I can just cut them off but the very middle tail needs a knot because it was a magic circle and it can go loose on us unless you did the 
uh, chain free in the beginning. That will have a knot. But this way. And I'm just going to go kind of a back and front. Find that loop. I'm going to put my yarn in through. I'm going to pull tight and just go in through a couple of stitches around just to secure that tail so it's not coming out. And that's it. The ears are done. So make another one. Obviously I have two now. You make another one the same. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew it on. Now I am going to have a really hard time sewing it on on the table because I have a very, very little wiggle place here. And what I normally do is I sit down on my bed, uh, bend my knee and just put the hood over my knee. And then I just see where I want the ears to be. As, um, as I said, I have very little place here, so I can't really show you how I'm going to do this because I'm going to end up with completely, um, I'm not going to do a good job. I know that on the table. So, but what I do is I'm just going to show you. So if I would have it on my, over my knee, it's easier to place it and, um, to see where you want them. So how to sew it on so i would start see this knot would put it on top of one of the rows wherever you feel like you want it and i would start sewing it on the very 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 edge for the length that i want you see like this and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the back of it and i'm gonna sew it again at the back of the ear. Come back here, make a knot, uh, and uh, just cut the yarn. So I can, I, I hope I can, uh, you can understand what I'm saying. So just uh, sew it on from the front, on the straight line from the front, then go to the back. You cannot see anything here. Uh, go to the back and sew it close to the back. Again, make kind of a little rectangular sewing and then do exactly the same with the other ear so i'm gonna sew it on off camera i am sorry but i it's really i'm gonna just move the camera all the time if i'm gonna try to do it uh, right here so i'm gonna do the ears i'm gonna hide my rest of my tails and i'm gonna sew in my buttons and i am going to show you uh what i ended up with so i'm going to see you in a bit and this is the end result. I have sewn on my ears and my buttons, and I think it looks super cute. I rolled back my uh, hood. And this is it. I hope you liked it. Please do press the like button if you did. Uh, please do comment. If you have any questions, ask. I will be happy to help if I can. If you need some measurements or advice, um, you can contact me on Facebook or in the comment section. So I will wish you all the best. Um, bye.